In early April, cooks and food lovers will converge in Orlando, Florida for the 44th annual Pillsbury Bake Off. And this year, there are four finalists from Northeast Ohio in the running for the grand prize. Tonight, one of them shares her secrets for getting into the finals twice. What Linda Bibbo has whipped up in her Chagrin Falls kitchen could generate more than compliments for the cook. If you win the whole deal, you get a million dollars. Yeah, no. <laughs> a million dollars if her warm Dutch apple breakfast bake wins the Pillsbury Bake Off grand prize. It's Linda's second time as a finalist. In 2008, her caramel latte crunch cups didn't win anything, but... My recipe they put on the cover of their 100 finalist cookbook, which I was really thrilled about. This time, she combined favorite elements from some of her mother's recipes and experimented to get the results she wanted. So how many versions of this did you whip up before you settled on your final recipe? Maybe three. Three different yeah, times? Yeah, three different times, yeah. Any major changes along the way? Uh, no, not really. Just adding little things like adding the orange zest and, you know, the, the topping and the almonds and the topping. And Only 100 finalists are chosen each year out of tens of thousands of entries. As a two-time finalist, I want to know what's Linda's secret. I think the best thing to do is to look at all the Pillsbury Bake Off recipes and you can get an idea of what they're looking for because they are looking for simple recipes. They're looking for, you know, recipes that, that family oriented recipes and something that's good and using their products and, and fast. Remember, nothing says loving like something from the oven. And for Linda, it might also say. Congratulations, you're a millionaire. A little taste of that, and I think it's got a chance. Well, if you'd like to see Linda's recipe for the Dutch Apple Bake, along with the other 99 finalists, head to our website, newsnet5.com, for